Hi everybody and welcome to Project Z3. So as I said on the intro, if you saw it, if you didn't, I've got just an intro to the vehicle. But what we're going to do on this one is we're going to sort the seats out because the seats, I mean, it is irritating as hell. Like why it does it, like the bushes go in. I didn't even know that this was a thing until I bought it. And then I found that like, breaking and stuff the seat was just going, I was like this is well weird did some research good old YouTube um I saw some videos from it all obviously I am a mechanic I have the tools I have the equipment um so yeah I'm just going to do it now I'm going to do the video I'm going to show you guys how to do it um there is other ones out there it's all the same thing I'm going to try and keep it as brief apart from the intro try and keep it as brief and to the point of what you need to do uh, and that's it really it's definitely a job I think you can do at home because it really is just undoing a few bolts so you're not going to need anything extravagant to do the job. Um, but with that said, let's just crack on with the job. First job you need to do is remove the seatbelt buckle, okay? It's a 16 mil. Get it on a spanner. So seat buckle is undone. Slide it down the back there. And then we've got four bolts that hold the seat down. Two at the front, two at the back. So if we move it to the front forward, yeah, I'll just quickly show you the bolts. So we have one bolt there, that rusty looking bolt. And then we have the other bolt there, that's bolt number two. For moving the chair back, you'll expose bolt number three and bolt number four. That email bolt, you can use it with a ratchet. I will not be, as I am a mechanic, and I have lots of tools I spent lots of money on that I want to use. So we've got two 13mm nuts in the front and two 15 mil, uh, 16 mil, two 16 mil bolts at the back. I am going to use a ratchet on this one just because it's like a bit seized. So I want to, no, it's not too bad. Two, so that's them out. We do have some wiring underneath the seat because obviously it's got electrics moving it forward and back. It's a large block connector through the back. It's just a block connector um, holding them to, I'll show you in a second. And then you want to remove the chair and put it somewhere safe where it's not going to get scratched or damaged or anywhere like that. So I'm going to put a blanket down and do that. All right, so here's the chair base. What we're going to do is we're going to undo these 225s. 225s. One here, you can see that's the movement within the chair. Two 225s, yeah, put them somewhere safe. And then we'll undo the big 250. Yeah, what that will allow us to do is remove, get that out from there. What I like to do is have a little look to see the position of the bottom section inside this little hole here. There's like a, you can see the window there, how much is poking through from there. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift it, piece of glass. And then this has come out, just like that. And you can see obviously the bushings have completely disappeared. So what we need to do as well as remember like how far in and out this is. You can see we've probably, we've got two threads. I can see two threads above the top line. Yeah, so that's where we need to situate that when we put it back in the hole. So I'll clean this up quick. There we go. For some reason, very, very tight. But I managed to get it off. Now we need to give it a good clean. To there. Take this out, give this a good clean. Off my shims. 
with more shims. And I want to put the shims either side of the middle. Yeah, one that side, on that side. It's like that. Yeah, so we've got the two shims either side. See right through the middle. And hopefully we don't need this anymore. I'll take this, just put it through the middle. So, a bit tight. I remember what we said, I said two threads, didn't I? So about there, where it's gonna be. Yeah. This bit into here. Fold it all back in. Like that. Move it down. There we go, just like that. Nice. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the big one back in. And we'll put the two little ones back in. And then that's it, that's that done. And we'll do the same on the other side. Basically, all the movement has gone out the seats. Now I'm going to put it back in, in the car. Looking good. Looking good on that one. All fits up, it's all, it's all running straight. So we'll put the bolts back in. So yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and put the bolts back in um, on the seat. But yeah, that, that's basically it, really. All the movement's now gone out of the seat, so we've got no rocking forward or back. Um, a little bit fiddly, but not really. Just got to make sure that they line up um, both sides parallel. Uh, so when you're unwinding it, make sure that the distance you have left is enough on either side. That's basically it, really. So it's probably maybe an hour job, hour and a half to do the pair of seats. Um, as I say, if you take it to a garage, probably going to charge you two hours of labor per site, maybe four hours of labor. So it's definitely a job that you can do at home. You only need a limited number of tools. Uh, so yeah, give it a go guys. And so this is this bit done. The next bit we're gonna be doing is the window. So catch you on the next one.